Hello everybody and welcome once again to The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past Randomized. I am Gary of the Misinformed Brothers and you've tuned in to episode 3. And the last we left off we were in Kakariko Village and I just got on my avian ally. And so now I remember there's a couple of things I can do here. And there's the race for the Harken piece of heart container. And I've got one bomb, so I can blow the wall in between those uh, two buildings. So, I don't know what's going to be there. I don't know whether it's still the heart container or whether it's going to be something random. So, I'll bomb my way through this wall and let's see what we get. wonder if I can do it first time. It's been a long while since I've done this race. Sorry about your wall, mate. I know you were arguing with your brother or something, if I remember rightly from the past. Yeah, my brother's such a jerk. Why did you blow the wall, Gary? Because oh, I needed to get through. <laughs> how, how do you go anywhere? Anyway. Okay. Uh, I, I should have been doing the race. <laughs> I don't remember accepting, but anyway. Quick, quick, quick. Hop down here, and hopefully... I, 11 seconds. Uh, oh, can I have it? Uh, uh, yeah, sure, take the heart container. Okay. Thank you. Right, now, I think I'm going to head to Lake Hylia, Hylia to uh, see what I can find around there. I know there's a lot of places with chests around there, there's a lot of caves. Uh, if I could find more bombs, that would be useful. But uh, No, there's a couple of things. I know I know there's quite a few places, so I'm not going to be derping around. I know I've, I've got an idea of where to go and check. So I'm going to start off with Lake Hillier and see where we go from there. I still don't have the Power Glove or the Titan's Mitt, so I can't pick that up. So I'm head north here. Oh. I, I love the boomerang. Stun these guys. No worries. Just leave him there. And you. Now, yeah. last week's episode, I couldn't do the first temple because I don't have the bow and arrow. Well, the bow anyway. I've got arrows. I've got 30 of them. They're useless until I've got the bow. I can't just throw them at people. So, maybe if I'm wandering around the world, I'll find it. If not, it's in another dungeon somewhere. <laughs> Imagine if it's in the dark world. I have to wait until like the last temple in the dark world before I can get the bow and out of the bow. I, I always try and say bow and arrow. Okay, I don't have a bomb. Will the boots work? Nope. Okay. Yeah, watch him. Nah. Fuck off. At least I've got another. Uh, I've got another full. Uh, another uh, heart container, so I can. Get, I've got four hearts now. Or I did. Until I got hit. He's fucking this exploding thing, it appears nowhere else in the game. Just explodes everywhere and that's it. Fucking Give me hearts. Another one of those magpies. Don't know what their real name is. Maybe Edit and Gary will tell you what it is. Okay. Now this Ah fuck. Nope. I need bombs. Where do I get bombs from? Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, I forgot I had the fairy. There we go. At least I'm not I'm a bit of a waste, but at least I don't have to start back from Gary's house, Link's house. Okay, down here. Head towards the guy. Who's got the pot under the bridge? She's north up here. I know what that cave is, but I don't have the money to waste in that cave yet. Uh, nope, okay, over here. Go straight to that guy who's got the pot under the bridge. At least he usually has the pot. That's gonna be a, a recurring theme with this, with this game. He usually has this, but what if he has what if he has the bow? Well, we'll see. Right. Yeah. Okay. 
God damn it, can someone get some sleep around here? Ah, I thought he was handing me the pot. Oh no, that sucks. He had the pot in his hand and I got 20 rupees. But well, that's fucking useless. Right, okay. Mm. Well, I'll go down here and see what's to the left. But until I find some fucking bombs... Oh, God damn these walls. Until I find some bombs, I can't do anything. Wait, isn't there a... Ah, yes, there is. There's a shop. Please have bombs. Yes! 10 for 50 rupees. Brilliant. There you go. She has the words if I have the coin. Good, good, good. Now I can... I can blow open a few uh, few holes. Right. Down here. Oh fuck. Okay. Hopefully I can hopefully I can get there by swimming. Or wading through oh no shit. Ah. Fuck these birds. And the Zoras, thank you. Come on, is that a ledge I can climb up? Yep, there's one. Right. Okay. Well, this isn't where I want to be, but where am I? Where am I? Am I by the Eastern Temple? I'm by the Eastern Temple. Okay. Well, at least I can get my hearts filled up. Yep. Now I'll get my hearts filled up. Sorry, I pressed the wrong fucking button. Why I pressed down, I don't know. Anyway. Now. Now head, my, head all the way back to Lake Helia. Unless... No, okay. Head right back to Lake Helia. Sorry. I was just having another... I was just having another thought. Uh... But never mind, I, I already blow my way through into Sarah Salah's, Sriracha Sauce's house. That's where I got the ocarina from. Nope, wrong way. This way. Right. Now there's a hole to the right over here. I think, if my memory serves, it's just a fairy fountain, but we'll see. Yep, fairy fountain. Might as well get that heart container back to full. Thank you. Get my boomerang back out. Okay. Now I'm sure there's a secret wall up here. I'm sure that's a secret hole. No. I'm sure there was a secret blowable wall around here. Well, at least I know that one's there. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, fuck yeah. These guys. Uh, does the boomerang work? Nope. Well, at least the sword does. Okay. Let's see what will work. The fire rod. Yep. Oh, fuck. Get that 20 rupees. Get my fire on back out. Kill him. And kill him. Don't leave a rupee behind. Not even one. Ah, four chests. Awesome. And 20 rupees. What have we got? What have we got? The shovel! Brilliant! The bow! Excellent! 20 rupees. And 20 rupees. Oh, fuck me! I found the, I found the bow! I never thought I'd get it here. Fuck. Well, if I was honest, I thought I'd get it at the temple, but that, would be, that was hoping too much. Right. Just avoid this guy, he's useless. 
Now let's see what's in this cave up here where usually the ice rod is kept. Oh, watch the fucking bomb on the ground. What is it? It's 20 rupees. <laughs> Why every time I know where something good is kept, it's fucking 20 rupees. Right. Now this, this I know is just the fairy fountain where usually if you hit the fountain in the middle, you get the super bee. So I'm going to eat a fairy and... And that's the super bee. It's a little bit stronger and it lasts longer and follows you longer. But without the bug nets, I can't catch them. Anyway, off we go. Now, another thing I remember reading about this ROM is that if you pick up the shovel after the ocarina, all you have to do is press Y and it will switch back to the ocarina. So I've got the shovel and the ocarina, which is good. So it doesn't erase the ocarina on you. Now, I'm going to head and go and do the first dungeon. Go and complete that now that I've got the bow and arrow and I can do it. And my avian ally can fly me right there. So I've just got to move this up to number five. And I land right here. Oh, what's in this cave? It's... It sounds like a fairy fountain again. Why is everything a... Oh, okay. Why is everything a fairy fountain? Oh, I'll eat one of you. The rest of you get to live for another day. Right. Okay, now. Oh, fuck. Nah! Wrong way! <sighs> Just after I'd filled up my hearts. It's another thing I love about the boomerang is that it'll pick up money. You gotta get that money, son. No, isn't this a... Is this a... I'm sure this is a fucking secret. No! What is it with me and thinking everything's a fucking secret in this game? It's a secret to everybody. Anyway. So let's just carry on back to the... Uh, back to the Eastern Palace. And... Uh, see where we go from there. At least I've got the bow and arrow. At least, at least I can do something. I can accomplish something in this game. Get one of those pendants. Take it back to Sriracha Sauce and see what it gives me for. It gives me for getting it. Which is uh, it's you. It's usually the Pegasus boots. I'm sure it's usually the Pegasus boots he gives you once you've completed the dungeon and you show him the pendants. It says something basically along the lines of, "I'm an old man. I don't need these anymore." I need to be fucking careful, I'm about to die again. Ah, uh, something give me a heart just so I can stop this annoying noise. Hmm. Hopefully you've got a heart. Nope. Not you. Ah, come on. I'll get a heart in the temple. Sprint my way up there. Okay, so I've made it back to the temple. I just gotta get a heart to get rid of this fucking noise. I've got the bow so I can finally do this. So, without, further, without messing about with the other two doors, I'll head straight up here. No oh, shit, I gotta navigate the ballroom with one heart. Oh, fuck. Oh, ha! Did it. Okay. Right, head left here. And there should be hearts in these jars, excellent. Good, 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 got rid of that. Let me just avoid these fuckers, jumpy bastards. I have to kill everybody in this room. Where are you? Come on now, where are you? Where the hell are they? What's going on? Oh, here we go. Oh, missed. There's only three this time. Five arrows. They'll come in handy. <laughs> no, they won't. I'm already maxed out. Right. Okay. I've already done this whole temple, so I just head straight to the boss. 
so glad I found the bow. That was lucky. Really, I'm really looking forward to finding the Titan's Mitt, so. Or the Power Glove, or then the Titan's Mitt, whatever. As long as I can start picking up blocks, I can start finding other chests. The switch was there. It is. Right. Can I avoid these? Oh shit! Tune. And um, will you have a heart? No. Um. Oh, five arrows. Ooh. Get rid of all these fuckers. Bit of magic. You. I've already established that this is the only way to kill you. And we're done. Ah, it's two more! <laughs> to fill myself up. Right. Boss battle. The easiest fucking boss battle. You don't even need the bow for it. You just stand in this corner and shoot away. Keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting. Very uninteresting boss battle. And now they do a line. Oh, got him. And him. red and just keep swinging away with your sword. Don't even have to move. That's it. Job's done. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. He's crushing my head, but my sword swings are stopping him. Another heart container. Good, good. And the pendant. Ah! I was hoping to catch it before it hit the ground. But that's it. First boss done. Now, uh... Now I have no idea where to go. <laughs> I don't have the Book of Medora, and I don't have the Moon Pearl or the Mirror. So now I'm stuck with, again, going over the overworld and trying to find out what to do. Go away. What to do from here. Uh, I can check Sriracha Source and see what he gives me. Because usually at the end of that temple, he'd give you the Pegasus Boots. So I'll see what he... See what he hands to me now. Right, see what he's got to say. Gary, uh, you killed the boss. It's so simple, a four-year-old could have done it. Uh, keep saying more and more stuff. Uh, seven, Gary, uh, mark the second temple on your map. Here's 50 rupees, go buy yourself something pretty. Go dye that stupid hair. Okay. Uh, well, okay, I think we're done for this episode. My time is just about to go off, so I might as well leave it here again in Sriracha Sauce's house. So, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more from me or the other guys, please hit the subscribe button. Bye-bye now.